Casino. Something that could have gone so wrong miraculously went so right. Tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar landing. One of the most significant moments oh. in American, if not world, history. I remember it. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Right. Danielle, we got to have her here. Our ambassador yes, to NASA, right. Danielle Jones, good yes. to see you. Oh, so glad you're you here because this is a very historic huge, moment. It's huge. I have been everywhere this week talking about this it's, it's pretty crazy yeah I mean uh, if you look back at kind of where we were at this part of history when we just came out of the voting rights civil rights act you're in Vietnam I mean our country and the world is kind of being tear torn apart and put back together so what better to unify everyone than something like this this is the first time that humans landed on any planetary body mm -hmm. or stepped foot on any t planetary body and the only mission of Apollo the only thing they wanted to do is send humans to the moon and bring them back and mm -hmm. they did it and they didn't do just that. I mean, they did a lot more. We have instrumentation that we still use today. We still test the samples that we picked up. Uh, they got 22 wow. kilos of samples wow. that we still test, and we, we've divvied it out um, for generations to come just in case we wouldn't get more. Sure. So, yeah, and like you saw, I mean, there's so much that could have gone wrong and did go wrong. Tell us about that, because yeah. I don't think that that's something a lot of people no. wanted to dwell on at the time. No, and I mean, just the way it was broadcast and how technology was back then, it's not like it was something widely known. Again, yeah, uh, it's not like they wanted people to know. But what happened was, is when they were disconnecting from the orbit of the moon, because that's essentially what they do, they go there. Michael Collins was in, uh, was orbiting the moon, and then Buzz and Neil uh, separated. And whenever they separated, the instrumentation panel uh, kind of jolted a little bit. And because of that, they landed way off course, and they oh, used up way gosh. too much fuel. So um, when they landed, they had about 30% left of fuel. They needed the 50% to get back. So they had no idea what they were gonna do. Um, they did their experiments. Um, President Nixon prepared a statement just in case they would get stuck there. And it's, oh my god, It's pretty eerie. If you wanna read it on the internet, it's actually Did they ever do a movie eerie. about that? Oh, I don't know, one, two, 16, <laughs> Yeah, I, I have not seen the most recent one. I won't do it. Uh, I remember really? drinking Tang as a kid. Mm -hmm. Tang, oh, oh yeah, Tang. Tang. out of uh, the space mission. Yeah. Melrose yeah. was invented for that. GPS systems. And the computer they had time to run this whole mission right. was really less power than you have in a modern calculator. Not, yeah, in a, in a regular $1 calculator. So it kind of begs the question of what we could do now if we really, really wanted to. I mean, JFK said, we're doing this in this decade. Mm -hmm. This is what we want to do. And eight years later, they did it. A lot of missions, unfortunately, some losses, but we got there. And uh, we did bring them back, and they were safe. They landed in the Pacific, and um, it's a huge success a whole bunch more missions sending people to the moon since then. It's kind of a complicated issue, I guess. Um, a lot of people think it's a geopolitical issue, it's a money issue, maybe people aren't as excited as they used to be, mm. um, unfortunately. But now, you know, I was here, I don't know, a month ago, talking about how our return to the moon is kind of a huge deal and we're really trying to uh, get that for commercial reasons and all kinds of things. So sure. whatever motivates us, I don't care. As long as we Danielle, get so good to have you yeah, with us. Yeah. Be sure to follow her on Instagram. Got a great Instagram page, Casey's NASA Lady. Uh, kids or adults or whoever, all different age ranges, all different events. She even does bar mitzvahs. I do. Uh, go to her website, <laughs> Casey's NASA Lady.